What's up guys? I got the new mower. Might have a problem. Cause I've had lots of mowers, but I bought another mower. So y'all don't be mad. Don't be, you know, saying bad stuff. <laughs> no, it's okay. All of it's good. Thank you for watching. But I got a new mower and here's, well, you'll see about it in a minute, but what brand do you think it is? Is it a uh, X Mark? Is it a, uh, Skag? Is it a John Deere? Alright guys, what do you think? So, want to give a shout out to my man TR Merriweather. Y'all check out his channel. And Josh is Lawn and Landscape. I know he runs uh, John Deere mowers as well. But the TR Merriweather, I watched some of his videos. He had this exact mower a few years ago. And so I watched some of his videos when I was researching about this. And uh, very, very helpful advice. Great guy. I was actually already been subscribed to him. Anyway, so y'all check out his channel. I'll have it down below. And I'll have Josh's channel down below as well. If, if I forget, y'all remind me. So, But anyway, I should be able to put it down below. But anyway, so it is a 2015 WH48A um, Kawasaki engine. Uh, it's a hydro um i like these controls you see it's just like uh like a zero turn mower you know you just push it um so that is nice no you know because even a lot of the hydro walk behind you still have to like squeeze but you know this one it's not like that you just just push it um yeah 48 inch deck uh it's got 390 something hours on it 393 so close to 400 hours um pretty decent shape overall um uh and a huge shout out to monroe small engines uh because that's who i bought this from and uh he actually started watching my channel and stuff too but um and then towards the end of this video i'll put a clip where you can actually like meet him and stuff um great guy a uh, great shop there in monroe georgia if y'all are around there check him out but anyway what it was is I was driving to uh, maybe an hour and something away and um, had to go meet my tax lady that I do once a year and um, and sort of kind of not really on the way but not too much far out of the way um, I seen this listed on uh, marketplace and so I just went and looked at it and bought it just to try it um, bought it because I've always wanted to try a, a hydro walk behind, especially since I changed over my yards to weekly high end yards, just to see how this kind of mower would work on those properties. If y'all remember years ago, I had an X mark, uh, turf tracer, but the deck was bent and I didn't know it. Um, and so it, I didn't get an accurate read about how these mowers would be from that other mower. Now I did measure all the corners of this deck before I bought it and everything is you know seems good um so so that's why I, I bought it to try it um he sold to me for a great price he sold to me for 2500 bucks uh so i figure i'll try it and uh regardless i'll be able to get my money back out of it this spring if it doesn't work for my route and i told him i was buying it just to try it out and that's that's really why i bought it so i mean that's pretty much all there is to it because i you know i wouldn't lose money on it either way and if I really like it, I don't know. I mean, might not sell it at all. You know, I don't know. But it's in pretty good condition, 
overall. Um, I feel like the deck is pitched a little too much. Well, these are just little tweaks that I'm going to do if I keep it. Um, so I want to, you know, lower that the back of the deck a little bit. There are some little tweaks and like, you know, some little things. Um, like this throttle cable doesn't stay in the little ditch, you know. So, you know, I'll need to replace that. Um, you know, a couple little things um, that are just really just me being picky, really. Um, you know, some things. I, there's some little bit, some, you know, some rough spots inside of these uh, spindles. Um, so I'll need to take that, you know, take maybe pull the deck and you know dremel dremel some of the spindles you know make them nice and smooth again again that's doesn't affect it running anything but just to help the belt last longer um and uh the guy at the small engine shop he was great i'm just saying these are just some things that i'm gonna if i keep the mower long term just some little things that i'm you know i'll be kind of picky about that I, you know i may replace these deck wheels and you know some things like that but i gotta see if, if this mower is good you know for my type of business or something another plus to this mower is uh you know it seems like there was never a velky on here because you usually can tell usually can tell um you know you can tell if the paint was patched or anything and um you know i just i don't think a velky was ever on there not that that would matter because these it's got like the parker pumps on it i mean it'll pull this velky no problem <laughs> You know regardless um pumps don't seem to have any leaks the motors don't seem to have any leaks i've been you know i looked under there um great shape overall and uh the guy at the small engine shop he did great he got it got it tuned up got it running good um you know i see he's got a brand new fuel filter on there that's awesome you know, he touched up the paint a few places and, you know made it look nice and i appreciate him for that and uh made a new friend over there monroe small engine it's about an hour away but if I have like problem with something, you know, be he's a great guy to know in the business as well. So, you know, in the small engine business. So, yeah, good stuff. I mean, pretty straightforward. Um, and that's why I bought it. And you know, some of y'all are gonna comment like, "That's crazy. Why would you know? You already got lots of mowers. Uh, <laughs> why'd you buy it? Stuff like that." And it's really just because I want I want to try my business, and I know I wouldn't lose money on it regardless. You know, because when it comes springtime, I know that I could sell it for at least what I paid for it. So, because as mowers are hard to get these days and all that, and it wasn't too far out of the way, I'm like, you know what? I'm taking my trailer with me and I'm going to look at this mower. If it looks pretty nice, I'm going to buy it. So, um, you know, obviously it's an old mower. It's not perfect, but it's, uh, you know, but it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> I got to get used to driving it, you know. <laughs> Even that the pole in the center of my garage when I was getting it out of there, I almost like hit it a little bit just now. So I'm just, you know, I'm not fluent with these. I never really drove them much, but which I would be over time. Um, and if I really like it, I might still sell it and get a brand new walk behind in my business. But I don't know. They're so hard to get nowadays and everything. Even if I wanted to get a Skag one or something, I'm not sure. I don't know if I really like it I might just keep it i don't know but it just it was a good opportunity came my way and so that's what i was doing and i've just been filming this so y'all could just look at the mower while I'm talking about it like i said overall decent shape so pretty happy with it um especially for the price i paid for it and uh so now i'm gonna let y'all meet the guy from small engine uh, Monroe small engines and I want to try to put a picture right now to show you how tight it is in my garage because it's very tight now because I got a lot of mowers like I have to turn them all sideways and you know I only have like one or two inches to spare <laughs> which I mean I know that I knew that before I bought it and um you know but it, it's it's great I love how what my business is doing right now love my setup uh love my small simple simple shop simple garage i love it so um i will on the lot we plan to buy the lot behind the ha behind our acre lot and i want to put a humongous shop back there metal shop um in coming years but i'm gonna do that at the right time but for now this is what we're rocking with and uh i appreciate y'all watching y'all seen it run um you know, it's it starts up real good. 
real easy. You gotta have your hand on here. Nope, you gotta have the brake up. All right, that's it. Y'all get to meet the guy now, and I'll show you a picture of all of, all the mowers in the garage, all right? Let's do it. All right, guys, got a new friend. Uh, I'm gonna drop this clip in the video with the mower, but his new friend, he hooked me up with a great mower down here at Monroe Small Engines. So y'all be sure to Google it up, Monroe Small Engines, it comes right up. Um, and thank you, buddy. Thanks for having me out, you got a great shot. It was ours. Yeah. And I appreciate you. And uh, we, I made a friend for a lifetime now, and hopefully you guys will see him up at the expo coming up this year. So, thank you, bud. You're Stay tuned. Welcome. Tony's lawn care. I'll try. I'll, I'll send you the link, so you don't have to remember it. But thank you, bud.